everywhere plague of madness wackos everywhere plague of madness you've seen him eh I oh, know you have someone must have are you one of them no <laughs> one of us then have you seen them too is that why you're here? This isn't an asylum, you know. It's a prison. Mm. <laughs> Do you hear that? Oi! Oi! What are you? God's behind us! Am I asleep? Ah. Huh? But that's just what you'd say if I were in it. It's here. Yeah, I'm asleep, and it's already here, in my brain. Except, except it, it don't need to trick me, do it? If I'm sleeping, I'd already know. I'd already know. The Night Weaver. It comes when we sleep, eats our dreams, hollows us out, leaves us for dead. Creature of nightmares. No, no, for it don't make the nightmares do it. It just leaves them, swallows everything good, so only the nightmares are left. There ain't no escape, mate. Or, oh, oh, there is. But no one's found it. No one except that fella Oval. <laughs> Lucky sap. So there's a way. Huh? There's a way. The asylum, mate. The asylum. You ask them, and they'll say we're crazy, all of us. But no, 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 no. They're the ones who are crazy. They don't see. They don't know. <laughs> don't want to know. That's why they lock us up in here, see? To protect themselves from what they don't know, but are afraid of knowing. But we see, all of us in here, we see the monsters, the visitants. The visitants. They come for us. Come for all the Dran, whether you see them or not. <sighs> but they do nothing. Nothing! At least, not much. I only seen one once. It looked right at me. And shrieked. And charged. I ran for me life. I ran until I couldn't run no more. Then, I hid. And I pray to the gods behind us. I'm lucky. Lucky. The others here, they got worse stories. They say the creatures took people away. Took them. Whether they believed in the creatures or not. But what's really scary, really scary, is them folks what didn't get taken just turned and went back to life like nothing happened. No. You tell me, who's the crazy ones? Orville. Yeah, Orville. He used to slip away at night when the nurses were sleeping. Head up to the attic to do his... his drawings. Orville, see, he done convinced himself if he drew a doorway just right, it'd be real. It'd take him somewhere else. <laughs> somewhere out of here. We told him he was crazy. <laughs> Uh, like it didn't already know. 
but he's gone now, ain't he? He done did it. Drew himself a doorway to another world and stepped through it. So, there's a way. There's a way. Oh, no, 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 no. That's what they want you to think, see? But there ain't no way out to this building. The building's not just the building, see? It's the system. <laughs> you walk outside these walls, you're still in the building. No, no, no. Oval. He found his door, his path. It's the only way to escape the system. The only way to be free. Trust me. Trust me. Orville got out. <laughs> Never seen the nurses so scared. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> he got out the only way what's possible. It's, uh... A creature uh, comes when you sleep, preys on your dreams, your, your fears. You wake up hollow, like a like a stone house burned out by fire. But it could kill us. Yeah, you could kill us at any time. See, but. Don't. Cause we're its feeding ground. It keeps us alive. But just a little. Just so it can feed. So we stay awake, see. We lift drugs or cut ourselves or draw on the walls or anything. Anything to keep from sleeping. The nurses say it's all in our heads. All in our heads! All of us! <laughs> And they say we're crazy. Come from? Don't know. Don't know. One of them. Sure. The visitants. The things what no one wants to see that they see. But I can smell it. Mm -hmm. I smell it even now. Lingering in the corners and the shadows. The basement. We ain't allowed down there. But the reek is deepest in the deep, see? And I wouldn't go down there for nothing. Not nothing in the whole dark world. Ah. Right. Ah. And no sleeping. Here. So tired. Ah, can't sleep. Mm, mustn't. Me. No, get away.
Do you remember what it used to be like? Hey? Because I can't. I, I can't. Ah! That's over. <sighs> Night Weaver probably got her. Damn, that's not it at all. We have a patient on the loose. Oh. 
Oh, I miss her. She brought me candy. Oh, 
can't sleep. <laughs> Fiend will eat me. So tired. Must not sleep. Don't fall asleep, friend. <laughs> I dreamed something important. What was it? Some people are afraid of dreams, but not knowing, yeah, that's worse. Here we go. My staff put me in here, as if I were a common patient. I honestly did not think they were capable. No matter. It's a blessing, really. It gives me time to complete this damned sculpture. My very dreams. The Night Weaver herself. As I sleep and she feeds upon me, I can see her features clear as day. But when I wake, I fade like misted breath in the winter air. I've sculpted several versions now. No, no single sculpture was accurate, but I suspect the gestalt of them might spark my memory. Alas, I... I've lost them all. How long ago... Okay. That is precisely what I'm trying to ascertain. If you would but leave me to my work. Elementary psychology, my dear. The same methods we use on our patients. The arts have a, a remarkable way of breaking through our brains. Natural blockades. I am sorry, I really don't have time for my whole life story. Yes, I know precisely of whom you speak. For so long, I had thought his rantings to be mere delusions. But once I had seen the Nightweaver for myself, well, he proved to be a needed source of solace. I'm glad to hear the nurses have not locked him away as well. Very well. Of... Mine? Oh my, yes, thank you, stranger. I will not soon forget this kindness. Those incompetent nurses wrested this from my hands when they tried to silence me. <laughs> because I'm insane, dear. Was that unclear? No, I'm... I just didn't expect my pathetic staff to have the wherewithal to rise up against me. Quite surprising. 
That's a bit of a story. I had been seeing the Nightweaver in my sleep. And for a time, I found solace confiding in my patience. That is severely unprofessional, as you might imagine, and I felt terribly guilty about it. So, after many sleepless nights, I admitted to my head nurse what I had been seeing. The look of patronizing pity in her eyes was infuriating. Shortly after, the nurses cornered me in my office and forced me down here. For days, I cried out for someone, anyone. But no one came. They never once checked on me. Incompetence. I was, yes. Goodness knows what those fools had done in my absence. The patients run rampant. I shouldn't wonder. We protect and care for them, of course. The patients here are unfit to live in the world, liable to harm themselves or, or others. Despite the ineptitude of the nursing staff, our patients are treated quite well. So they were. Under my watch. Not a one of my nurses has even bothered to check on me or even bring me a meal. Okay. You should. I have much still to do. Come to speak to me then. I do have work to do, you know. All right then. Very well. Indeed. Yeah. What is wrong with me? I will never get it. <laughs> the Nightweaver, she's coming.
tomorrow. <laughs> I'll never guess it. <laughs> I miss her. She brought me candy. Wouldn't I do anything? Wouldn't I do anything? Another sculpture? Another! Yes! I could not remember where I had left this one. Everything seems so different now from before the world. Shifted. It... It's difficult to explain. Perhaps that's why it feels so insane. The patients spoke of it first. Some great change, unseen monsters, and of course, this Night Weaver. I thought it a kind of mass hysteria. The fact that some outside these walls made the same claims only confirmed it for me. A, a, a kind of psychological infection. I did. At least I think I did. She came to me in my sleep. Patients described, I could see her in my dreams. Even as those dreams slipped away, and all I was left with was darkness and horror. I woke terrified and hollow, unable to even speak for several hours. I saw it then. The changes in the world that I could not see before. Cracks in the walls. And behind the shadows, I saw the way the others would become angry or apathetic toward the patient's stories, as if they saw the same but wished to convince themselves they hadn't. Clearly, I was insane. How complacent of you to assume I can be sure of anything anymore. I am, or was, a medical practitioner. I believe only what I can measure or see. But I have seen so much now. I am sure of nothing. If I am not insane, then surely the entire world must be. Okay. You should. I have much still to do.
Oh, damn it. That beats your comrade on. Okay, this is it. This home. Should be grateful for any attention. Wait, are you?
But are they prisoners or guards? She was the only one who understood me. You don't have any candy, do you? Don't like the looks of this. 